Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this session, we are going to see how to implement JWT token in our .NET Core 6.0 Web API. Before starting the session guys, if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon for future notification. And if you ended up liking my video, give me a like and give me a suggestion in the comment box. Let's get started. So what is authentication? Authentication technology provides access control for systems by checking to see if the user credential match the credential in the database of authorized users, which we are going to see today. And what is JWT? JWT stands for JSON Web Token. is an object which is used to securely transfer information over the web between two parties like the web API and the client. Client may be a web or a Android or a, um, a Windows system. It can be used for an authentication system and can be also used for information exchange. The token is mainly composed with header, payload and signature. And these are separated by dot. The JSON web token or JWT token is simply a JSON payload containing particular claim. The key property of JWT is that order to confirm if they are valid, only we need to look the token itself. So this is all about the theory part of JWT token. For this session, we are going to use a NuGet package that is Microsoft.ASP.NetCore.Authentication.com jwt bearer so for this session i have created a table a tbl user where full name email id password designation and created date is there so i am going to authorize this authenticate this user by checking the email id and password so i have created this application where if you see and they have we have and this weather forecast by default con, uh, API and we have get all product if I'm executing this one I'm getting the product detail from my table from TBL product from this table I have two API here one is get all product and one is get product by code so if I'm post by code it will send me the single product Okay, and I have one more API which is name as post login detail. Here I am getting the token or I will get the token. In the post login detail, here if I go to login controller, I am checking with the TBL users email ID and password. And I am using here Insomnia for my testing my API. So if you see my local, this is my URL 5186 and so if i send here so it is coming invalid credential so if you go to the tbl user so let's say i'm giving alex so email id will be alex at demo.com and password will be one two three four five six so if i send now so it is coming login success access token is not coming so in this part now we are going to implement how to generate the action token and one more api we have get products where we are getting the product list we will go to authenticate this one okay so for this we are going to use this new get package jwt bearer stop the application from running go to our new get package manager So here it is 7.0 and it's for .NET Core 7.0. I'm going to use the last one 6.0.13. Select this and install. Okay.
okay it got installed successfully now our task is go to our app setting dot json file here we need to add our jwt details so if you see this one add a comma then we can add our jwt detail so i am adding here my jwt detail which is key issuer audience and subject so, so i am giving the subject as service token okay now next part is we need to go to our program.cs file we need to modify here we need to add one builder service we need to configure service here so i have added builder.service.add authentication jwt bearer default it need a using statement so using microsoft asm.net core.authentication.jwt bearer here token parameter i am using the option is service header metadata service save token and token validation here i am taking the valid audience from my app setting json file audience and issuer okay in the issuer signing key i am using symmetric security key which is using system dot text it is taking the jwt key from my app setting dot json file right now one more thing we need to do before running the application after the app authorization app dot use authentication right so our configuration is done we have added our new get package we have added jwt details in our app setting dot json we have configured our uh, builder dot service and we have configured our app dot use authentication now next part is we need to go to our login controller in this section i am just printing user dot login success right in user message but if we go to this particular model there is one more property called token i am going to display the token after login success so for that i am going to create one more method so i am just keeping public thing get token in this part i am going to pass the same user model here so it will be user model user data i am giving in this section i am keeping var claims equal to new claims where it takes jwt register it will add system dot identity model dot token in claim section also security dot claim okay next section is this user data so let's keep as user data like this so okay i have given id right and for this configuration so i am going to create one more controller one more um, method which is a constructor so let's keep this generate constructor so add a added a constructor here I am taking these configurations. So it is also taking configuration.jwt subject, which is our app setting.json, this subject token. Okay. Next thing is I am keeping like var key equal to symmetric key. 
सीमेंट्रिक सिक्योरिटी की देन साइन इन टोकन आई एम टेकिंग द कॉन्फ़िगरेशन फ्रॉम जेड इश्यूर एंड ऑडियंस नाउ हियर आई एम गेटिंग द टोकन वैल्यू with JWT security token handler write token now I am returning this one right I am going to keep inside my so I have given like underscore user data dot access token equal to like this so let's run the application and see we are getting the access token or not Okay, guys, I just did a one modification. I removed the function here and added my code inside the direct the APIs. Okay, so it got run. Now you can see our API got running. So go to our API tester. So get all products, check it is working or not. It is still working so how we can without token it is working so we can go to our controller section here we can keep authorized right now run the application and we will see it is working without token or not then we will generate the token and we will pass the token to this controller this api and we will see it is coming on authorized now go to post record you can see I'm giving exact h for user id and password from the table so I am getting the token. So in this case, I am taking this token, this generated token, and going to my get API. So here authorizations, I am adding beer or token. I am giving the token as this. Now keeping send. So now yes, we are getting 200. We are getting the record. So in this way, we can implement JWT token authentication system in our dotnet core 6.0 web api guys i will keep this uh, application source code link in the video description you can also download and check it out and guys if you like this video give me a thumbs up and share this video with your friends thank you very much